Hey clowns, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. Today, I present you with a newer analog horror series called White Stag Education. This is a series of educational videos made for people who visit the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Starting very simple like hiking tips and trail safety tips, and then warning you about the strangers. Now, I don't want to spoil too much for you, I want you guys to see it for yourselves, but this analog horror series impressed me so much, especially with the final video that we have right now. As always, White Stag Education's channel will be in the description down below, make sure to go and support the original work. But alright, enough of me talking, let's jump right in. Video 1, Pine Barrens Hiking Safety. I like the logo. Very nice. Pine Barrens Hiking Safety. Wow, this genuinely looks so old. Created by Dan Sieve. Sevi? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. In collaboration with Ocean County Parks and Recreation. Hiking in the New Jersey. New Jersey. This takes place in New Jersey? That's like right next to me. Okay, noted. Hiking in the New Jersey Pine Barrens can be a wonderful experience, but it is not without its dangers. This tape will teach you the safe method so you can safely traverse the greatest trails on the East Coast. Is this place real? Safe. Stick to the trails. When hiking, it is important to stay on the right path. Following trailblazers will ensure you stick to the correct trail and do not get lost. Single rectangle means the path continues straight. Damn, that's kinda hard to see. Two rectangles forming a left diagonal indicate a left turn. Likewise, two rectangles forming a right diagonal indicate a right turn. Why not just put signs? Like just small signs on the trees? As of 1968, it is federally mandated that all trails must be blazed. Do not follow unmarked trails or trails with suspicious markers. Like, like what kind of marks? You will not return. You gonna show me why? Oh, okay. Acquire equipment. Like water? That's equipment, right? Technically, you need it. A compass paired with a map will help when the intended path becomes unclear. You can find a map at your park's visitor center. This is a very detailed video, I like this. I feel like I'm actually learning. F. Fear the forest. I don't know if that should be in the word safe. The masked people have lived in the Pine Barrens for hundreds of years. An unholy entity holds dominion over the woods. Their ablations augment its strength. If you hear the whistling, you've stumbled upon a false trail. Are those masks? Did you see that? Evacuate. Alright, this is the turn I was waiting for. Why would you ever go hiking in a forest with masked people? <laughs> I 
Okay. You ran right into that guy. Thank you for watching Pine Barrens Hiking Safety. Stay safe out there. Okay, uh, let's just go back to the beginning here. All right, so it seems that Dan Sevi or CV might actually be a name for the story. So I'm writing that down. I think we basically got all the information in this video. I just want to take a look at the masked person at the end there. Okay, it almost looks like a bird mask, like the nose kind of comes out here. So interesting. Okay, is Pine Barrens a real place? Oh my god, it is. Oh, they have ruins? Wait, hold on. Look at this, guys. Today's all that's left is Martha's furnished by the ruins of Bog Iron Smelting Furnace. This just looks cool. I love stuff like this. Oh, it's only a two hour drive. That's not terrible. All right, here's the deal. If you actually enjoy the entire White Stag series when we watch it here, and you want me to go to the Pine Barrens in New Jersey, I will go, but you have to get this video to 10,000 likes. I'll go, I'll vlog it, we'll record it, all that. Get this video to 10,000 likes. All right, I really don't know what else to say other than that. This is, again, just the beginning. Very interesting, though. They said, an unholy entity holds dominion over the woods. Their ablations augment its strength. What the hell does ablations mean? Okay, so their offers make it stronger. So there's kind of like a cult in the woods. What is the unholy entity, though? That's what I want to know. Let's see if we find out. Video 2. Christmas Eve candlelight service. White Stag Education. Yeah, yeah. Episode two. Christmas Eve candlelight service. Yay, we love Christmas. We love Christmas. Hosted by Grandwood Church of the Pines. Oh. So there's a church associated with this. Why does the statue look like it's moving? Presented by Pastor George Robertson. We'll be writing your name down. Recorded by Dan Sevy and Luke Ball. Or Bale. Special thanks. Edith Sampson, Noah Emers. All right, a lot of names. Do you see it? I'll give you a second. Just take a look at the names. See if you notice anything wrong. Innocent. Send. Help. Seems like someone might be trying to send a message through these videos. And if it's recorded by Dan and Luke, maybe they're trying to send that message. Proud of myself that I caught that. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas is a time for people to come together. Friends, families, enemies, warring nations, to celebrate the great gift God has given us this day. His Son, Jesus Christ. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Our Lord has given us creation and the opportunity to do with it as we wish. We have the choice to sin or to be faithful. Our Lord has given us his son to undo Eve and Adam's original sin. Jesus showed us that even with free will, we can live a life free of sin. Enoch 21.4 There too I beheld seven stars of heaven bound in it together, like great mountains and like a blazing fire. I exclaimed, for what species of crime have they been bound, and why have they been removed to this place? Then, Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me and who conducted me, answered, Enoch, wherefore dost thou ask? Wherefore reason with thyself and anxiously inquire? These are those of the stars 
which have transgressed the commandment of the Most High God, and are here bound until the infinite number of the days of their crimes be completed. Okay. Oh, lens error. Camcorder will only the basement door is over there. I hate you so much. Be quiet. Okay, we can see who's talking. Going to the basement? By the way, W created for the captions. Holy shit! Be quiet. This will only take a second. Pistol cocking? dead Christmas Eve candlelight service I want to guess that was the basement of the church that whatever that animal was in and I want to also guess that the animal that's down there is the demon that the masked people kind of worship or praise that is a lot of assumptions but given off what we have I don't think that's a bad thought. It does seem like by shooting it, they didn't actually kill it. Instead, they pissed it off. It breaks out of the basement and kills Luke. So now just Dan is alive. And I guess we don't even know if he survived. He could have died after that recording. So obviously, if it's in the basement of the church, I think George, the pastor, is in on it. Now, I'm sure there's meanings behind um, what he read during that. I don't know the meaning behind Enoch. 21.4. Again, as you guys know, I'm not really religious, so a little more difficult for me, but it sounds like that people are being punished and he was questioning why they're being punished. And this angel basically said to him, well, it's because they've committed crimes and now they have to pay for them. May relate to how Dan and Luke just attacked this beast in the basement. Um, for what seems like no reason. So now maybe they're facing the crimes for that. Again, I'm just speculating here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but this is what I got so far. It seems like the whole church is in on it and it's a little sketchy. Video three, Intuitain product information video. Health warning, the following informational video was not produced by White Stag Education. We have redistributed this video for educational purposes only. This use of the Intuitane domestic pill and similar products is highly discouraged. Thank you for co cooperation. It was not produced by White Stag Education. So why is it here? Over the past seven years, Genesis Technologies has been developing a drug that heightens the accuracy of human foresight. Okay. The drug has been named Intuitane. Intuitane, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. This informational video will analyze some of the tests and trials run by Genesis Technologies and disclose potential side effects of the Intuitane domestic pill. Okay, so the next minute of this video actually got copyrighted because of the music, but it's just me reading off what it says on screen, so I'm just gonna reread it to you just without the music. Test 1. Mouse and Pitfall Maze Two groups of 25 laboratory mice were placed in a pitfall maze with a piece of cheese on an opposite end. The mice in group 2 were given each a 50mg dose of Intuitan, while group 1 acted as the control group. In the first group, 0 of the 25 mice successfully reached the cheese at the other end of the maze. Stupid mice. We observed that the control mice preferred to take a direct route to the cheese and not make unnecessary turns, therefore falling victim to the pitfalls. In the second group, 19 out of the 25 mice successfully reached the cheese at the other end of the maze, making for a 76% success rate. So it def made them a little smarter. 
Mice in the Intuitan group made turns to avoid the pitfalls even though the route was indirect. Conclusion: Mice in group 1 followed their natural instinct to take the most direct route possible, leading them into the pitfalls. The 50mg dose of Intuitan allowed the mice in group 2 to go against their natural instinct and reach the end of the pitfall maze. Okay, now tell me what happens when you test on humans, because I know it's not going to go that well. Test 2. Human and Stoplight. Here we go. Two groups of 25 human test subjects were sat in front of a stoplight. Group 1 acted as the control group, while the test subjects in group 2 were each given a 200 mg dose of Intuitan. Obviously, they probably need a higher dose because they're humans and not mice, but... The test subjects were asked to verbally guess which color the stoplight would glow at random, and the accuracy of their guesses was recorded. Group 1 out of the 250 total guesses, Group 1 made 79 correct guesses, making for an approximate 31% correct rate. This is close to the expected 33% correct rate. So they were just told to guess what it randomly was going to light up as? It makes sense, they have a 1 in 3 chance of guessing correct. Out of 250 total guesses, Group 2 made 250 correct guesses, making for a correct rate of 100%. So. Does that mean they could somewhat predict the future a little bit? Conclusion Test subjects in Group 1 relied solely on chance to predict what color the stoplight would glow, while the intuition of the test subjects in Group 2 was heightened by Intuitan, allowing them to predict correctly every time. That's actually pretty insane. Ooh, here we go. This is where things always go wrong. The smile drug. Users of the Intuitane domestic pill have reported having more vivid and lifelike dreams while asleep. These dreams can cause paran paranoi paranoid tendencies. Genesis Technologies believes that the following two dreams are caused by Intuitane's stimulation of the subconscious mind and may possibly depict future events. Wait, so a side effect is that you could dream the future. Can I get this pill? That sounds fire. Margaret Pendleton's dream. Margaret's dream was about a never-before-televised puppet show featuring four colorful puppets and a park ranger. She said the puppet she illustrated was named Rex. Okay. Margaret stated that while in the dream, she felt like she had seen the program a hundred times before, despite it never existing. Henry Ledger's dream. In Henry's dream, he witnessed a meteor falling towards the earth. He watched the meteor crash near his home in Barnegat Township, New Jersey. Henry's dream has helped Genesis Technologies discover a new comet, now named Ledger's Comet. So they are just predicting the future. Daniel Carpenter's dream. The masked people from the forest. In Daniel's dream, he was standing in front of a group of masked humanoids. He recalled an immense amount of heat emanating from the large hole they surrounded. Daniel transcribed this melody which he heard in his dream. Are you gonna play it for me? Three days after his dream, Daniel had a violent encounter with three of the masked humanoids from his dream. However, he did not come across the large hole in the ground. Thank you for watching it. And you're just gonna end it like that. Okay, let's start here real quick. But they said three days after his dream, Daniel had a violent encounter with three of the masked humanoids. Now, if Daniel isn't dead after this violent encounter, there's a chance that this event that he dreamed of could still happen and just hasn't happened yet. Because obviously this one hasn't happened yet. In Henry's dream, he witnessed a meteor falling towards Earth, and then they found out that there was indeed a comet in space, and now it's named after him. And this puppet show one is interesting, given what the next video we're about to watch is. But interesting, I wonder how overall this is gonna connect to everything. Because this must have some kind of direct tie-in 
with what's going on in the forest other than the fact that one of the dreams predicted an event that goes on there this company that's working on this has to have some kind of connection shout out to daniel bueno in the comment section man i just recreated that melody music sheet on tuck's guitar and it sounds exactly like the whistling from the first video which is what i could have guessed i would have guessed that was what it was he also says that maybe daniel carpenter is the same person that runs into the masked people in the first first video that we watched which I think would make sense. We just don't have any confirmation as to who exactly that was. Also, whatever is in that hole in the forest is probably the monster or demon or whatever spiritual entity that they were talking about in the first video is. Either that's where it lives or maybe that's where they were summoning it from. But remember how I said that Margaret's dream is important for the next video? Check out this next one. Video four. Stranger Danger Puppet Show. Forest Friends Stranger Danger Special. Created by Luke and Dan. This must be before Luke died. Oh, hi! I didn't see you there. I'm Rex. What's your name? Marcus. Nice to meet you! I can't wait to tell all the other forest friends about you! My new friend! Aww. Say, would you like to come camping with us? Yes. You would? Great! Yes. There's gonna be lots of fun activities, like hiking and fishing. And you'll even get to meet Ranger Luke. Luke! Oh no! That reminds me. I have to get packed. I'll be right back. I love this right now. Alright, I don't need this. This could be useful, but no. Okay, I do- oh, of course, really, I pause it. Okay. <laughs> the sound effect. Um, who the hell is this kid? And this looks very similar to the statues that we've seen with the church. This doesn't seem good to go camp camping with. Uh, Damn, really take it like easy, Rex. Oh, bananas are weird. Oh. oh. Rex, it's me, Anna. Anna? Huh? Hi, Where's Anna. Rex? Wait. Who are you? I've I'm... never met you before. I'm Marcus. All right, I'm ready to go camping. Damn, why is she so scared? Oh, hey, a Anna. Meet my new friend. New friend? Rex, how do you know they're not a stranger? Well, I don't know. Maybe they are a stranger. But how can we know for sure? Let's go ask Ranger Luke. He knows everything about stranger danger. You're yeah, let's right. go see Luke. Come on, let's go camping. I'm not a stranger, though. I'm a friend. I wonder if we're going to get to see like a real Luke or if he's going to be a puppet. Oh my god. It's a real Luke. Hello, Luke. He's got a guitar. Hey, Luke. Rex and I are here. Hey, guys. Hi, Hi Ranger, Ranger Luke. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just in time to set up camp. Anna and I have a very important question. Alrighty, Rex. What is it? I met someone new today, and they seem really nice and great, but I don't know if they're a stranger or not. Hmm. Well, they certainly don't look like a stranger to me. Hi, I'm Ranger Luke. Hey. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yay, what a relief. Yeah, I'm so glad that I found an honest and true friend like you, and not a stranger. Say, do you guys remember the ways to spot a stranger? No. Well, um... Please not really. Me. That's alright. We'll learn together with our new friend. Yay! Yay! Remember that story from way back when?
Signs on the trees. Song kind of hits. Where this is going. I hated that. We'll go back to that after. Just looking at some animals now. I wonder if this is actually filmed in the park. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Is that it? No way, that's it. Oh. This hike is so much fun, Gleason. Oswald and Gleason. I agree, Oswald. But I'm exhausted from all this walking. Hey, hey uh, do you know where we are? Hmm. The oldest tree in the forest should be coming up soon. How do you know that, Oswald? I feel like we've been walking forever. Well, Gleason, we've been following the trailblazers, so we'll be okay. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. We forgot to use a map. Oh, we'll silly, on... that's 101. False trail. It's okay. Do you hear the melody? That means the strangers aren't hunting. Well, as long as we stand still and be quiet. That means they aren't hunting? We'll be okay. And the adversary surfaces? Welcome to Mr. Gungus's Game what of the, hell the is Day. This? Today, we are going to be playing Spot the Stranger. Come on, let's go. Okay, I bet I'll be good at this. Or maybe not. Oh. Yeah, right, right, right there. R right here. Okay, I thought it was going to be like, you have to choose between two. Yeah, there he is. Yay. Yay. Okay, now he's over there. He's right here.
I genuinely don't see. It writhes beneath the forest. It w writhes? Oh, I saw that text. We'll go back to that. I think there's one more section. The sunset. Oh, they're alive. But we can't rest until our stories are told. Now's the time of the night where we gather around the campfire and talk about everything we did today. So, Rex and Anna, what did you guys do today? Oh, oh, oh! Today, we went fishing! Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I caught a whole lot of fish today. I think I caught the most. You may have caught the most, but I caught the biggest fish. Yeah, right. Well, what kinds of fish did you find? We caught some black banded sunfish, creek chub suckers, and even largemouth bass. We would have caught more, but we ran out of worms. Well, that sounds like a whole lot of fun, even if you did run out of worms. Yeah, we'll definitely remember to pack more for next time. Gleason and Oswald, what did you guys do today? We went hiking. Yeah. Well, that didn't sound too enthusiastic. Yeah, get a little more detailed, Did guys. guys. Well... We were trying to find the oldest tree in the forest, but we got lost. And before we even knew it, it was too late. We heard the strangers whistling. What did it sound like? It was a song. And what did you do? We stopped, stayed quiet, and when we couldn't hear the song anymore, we turned around. Great job, Gleason and Oswald. Now, what would you have done if it wasn't a song they were whistling? We would have closed our eyes and ran away. Great job! Hooray! Always remember, strangers have no regard for your well-being. They aren't like us. Do not follow them into the woods, no matter how friendly they look. See you on another episode of Forest Friends! All living things bound by a string Summer to fall Winter to spring We all sing in chorus the song It's the girl in the photo from the beginning. Stranger Danger Puppet Show. Okay, these are actual credits. That was a great job to everybody that was a part of that episode. That was really good. I was in deep with that one. Okay, so um... Obviously, big revelation at the end there. All of the people that these puppets are based off of are dead. And maybe they died for not following these rules of the forest. And that's why this show is made with them as characters to kind of teach kids the lessons that they should have known. For example, like in this one, Stranger Danger, teaching them what to do if the strangers start whistling and how to identify strangers and things like that. But still, what a messed up and creepy twist. I did not expect that. I really thought this was going to be some other character, not literally this person but let's go back to this segment here where there is text on the screen for like a millisecond the burning swords protect us i have no clue what that means also it writes beneath the forest means um that it twists or squirmy movements or contortions of the body I believe this is it here when it calls it the adversary. So is it a snake-like being? Then of course we get the big twist at the end of the Little Red Riding Hood story is that her grandma is not even in the cabin and it seems like Little Red got lured here by this. It was too late, Granny locked the door. Red saw her face, it wasn't her. 
Now, this could be maybe symbolic of the monster in the forest, or this could just be an example of one of the masked people. I think it's an example of one of the masked people just because this whole song is talking about strangers. And even later on, they talk about the strangers whistling, which we know are the masked people. Okay, so this is interesting. Anna, who is one of the Grandwood Four that appears to be dead, her last name's Carpenter. And in the Intuitan video, the person that has the dream of being in a group is Daniel Carpenter. Can't be a coincidence. They have to be related. There's no way. Also, during the little Red Riding Hood story section, there's this giant hole in the ground. I didn't even notice this at first, but could be the hole that Daniel Carpenter dreamt of with the strangers surrounding it. So, my overall thoughts. First of all, this series as a whole, banger absolute banger i think this really takes it to the next level with the puppet show video and it doesn't feel cheesy i felt like luke's acting was incredible and i didn't once think that this is kind of corny or cheesy or stupid i genuinely really like that my whole analysis on all this we only have four videos so far so it's pretty hard to get like a full detailed theory here we have the pine barrens which seems to be this giant forest with a bunch of hiking trails in it there are also false trails and it is very easy to get lost in this forest if you get lost it seems that you could run into the strangers and as we saw in the puppet video and the first video it can happen at day or night that you run into the strangers it does appear that when the strangers whistle it means that they aren't hunting so i'm guessing that when they're quiet, they are hunting, or maybe if the whistling melody is different, they're hunting. That's kind of unclear so far. But the strangers are in this forest and they seem to hunt people, I could guess. And I assume that they hunt these people to sacrifice to whatever entity, god, demon that they believe in. Here's the part that is a little confusing to me. Are the strangers directly connected to the church or are they two separate entities? Because we do know that under the church in the basement, there is some kind of monster that Luke and Dan try to kill. It does seem like they fail and Luke dies. But I don't want to say the monster is the big entity that the strangers worship because it does seem like the entity that the strangers worship is very very large i mean they said it writes under the forest and it seems like when it emerged in the puppet show video the whole ground was shaking so it's gotta be massive so who knows what's actually in the church basement but be sure to let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comments below especially if you could put some sort of correlation with the whole religious stuff in this I'd love to know your thoughts. Also, please, please, please go check out White Stag Education down below. I will leave the link to their channel in the description. Definitely go and watch their videos for yourself. You might find something that you didn't see in my video. And also be sure to go subscribe to them. They are severely underrated. Also, remember what I told you, 10K likes and I'll actually go to Pine Barrens in New Jersey. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all my members. I love you guys so much. You guys are incredible. And all right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.